welcome to Monday Mindset. Uh, this week's Monday Mindset is, and the weekly Monday Mindset, I do these every week at 10 a.m. Mountain Time uh, each Monday, and it's a free weekly video that I do to just inspire you and motivate you so that you can win the mental game of weight loss with your sugar and flour free lifestyle. And today we're going to be talking about why it is so easy to regain weight after weight loss and how to lose weight for the last time so that you don't have that result. So, but first, if you are new around here, I'm Erin Hart. I'm a registered nurse health coach and I'm on a mission to empower women to lose weight for the last time with the sugar and flour free lifestyle. In my year of you program, I guarantee that you achieve your goal body within a year or I coach you for free until you do. So if you're interested in learning more about how to achieve your goal body in 2024, be sure to join my free challenge that will be happening December 27th through the 30th, 2023. So it's from 11 a.m. to noon mountain time each day and it's a virtual event on Zoom. Uh, I'm going to be teaching the success framework that I teach in my coaching program for free to help and inspire you as you create your new year's resolutions for 2024. The success framework that I, the success framework that I teach is how to master your mindset, uh, in weight loss, how to develop a winning weight loss strategy and how to consistently execute your plan, how to actually make yourself do it this year. So we're going to go into depth on all of those subjects so that you can give your goals some rocket fuel for the new year. Just imagine where you can be at the end of 2024. Like This is so exciting. I love the energy that this time of year brings because it's when we can really start to like step into that future version of ourselves and, and have some vision. So to sign up for the completely free four day challenge and to get the free workbook that goes along with it, which I usually sell for $19, be sure to sign up before Christmas uh, by visiting my website at erinhearthealthcoaching.com to learn more. So I can't wait to see you there. It's going to be so fun and motivating. So now on to our Monday mindset this week. In the uh, live success path course in my program, we talked about step nine of the success path, which is how to rock your first year of maintenance after achieving your goal body, how to master your maintenance mindset, uh, how to, we talked about how to create an effective maintenance strategy and what that looks like, as well as how to overcome obstacles in maintenance. So. For those of you who are not in the success path course of the year of you program, this course, it takes you from where you are right now to losing all of your excess weight and thriving in maintenance in 10 baby steps. And I want to share a tidbit from step from the step nine module uh, today with you uh, because the goal is not just to lose weight, but it's to keep it off forever. So no matter where you are on the success path, if you're in the weight loss phase or if you're in maintenance, we always have to be thinking about maintenance. Um, mastering maintenance is so important to learn how to do. We have to start thinking about that while we're in the weight loss phase. Maintenance is the goal and it is such an exciting time. Uh, it Maintenance is so worth all of the sacrifices that you're making in the weight loss phase to achieve it. You're gonna feel so much energy and confidence. You're, it's truly going to improve every aspect of your life. But why, but why is it so hard to get the weight off and so easy to put it back on, right? Sadly, most people who lose a really large amount of weight have regained it two to three years later in the weight loss world in general, right? But in this case, knowledge, in our case, right? Knowledge is power understanding why your body puts weight back on, I think is a really important, it's really important when you create your maintenance strategy. It's 100% possible to lose weight and to keep it off, but we have to take maintenance seriously. And we have to have a lifestyle mindset instead of the diet mentality 
that once you get to your goal, you can eat whatever and do whatever you want and go back to your old ways. That's not going to turn out well for you. That's why most people regain their weight. So when you get to maintenance, nothing changes and everything changes. Your life will be positively impacted in every way. But as far as what it looks like day to day, nothing changes. You have to just keep doing the habits that got you to maintenance, uh, that helped you to lose the weight. And, but you also get more food in your plan. So, uh, so let's talk about why it's so easy to regain the weight and some things that are happening physiologically with your body. So there's a theory in the scientific community called the weight loss, or sorry, called the weight set point theory. And it is just a theory, but there's some evidence to back it up. And, and one factor that can contribute to weight gain after weight loss is your metabolism and adaptive thermogenesis. So adaptive thermogenesis is when you lower the amount of calories that you're eating for weight loss, you also lower your metabolism. So as you have a caloric deficit in the weight loss phase, your metabolism or the number of calories that you consume every day, uh, which is your metabolism, that, um, that decreases as you lower your calories that you're eating so that you can create a caloric deficit. <clears throat> also, as your body size decreases, your body requires less calories as well. So a lower rate of burning calories uh, and <clears throat> um, requiring less calories, it can make it easier to regain weight when you're in maintenance. Uh, and once you uh, are in maintenance, we have to just take a systematic approach to avoid weight gain. So as we discussed in uh, the module about transitioning to maintenance, if you're in my course, right, the absolute worst thing that you can do when you achieve your goal body is, is, is exactly what you want to do. Uh, it's to dramatically increase your calories and start binging or overeating, right? We think that once we get to our goal weight that we can just loosen up, but adding a lot of calories to your plan when your metabolism is still not fully recovered from the weight loss phase, it will lead to really fast fat gain. Uh, the weight set point theory is that once you're at a higher weight, your body is going to work really efficiently to get to that back to the higher weight. Uh, there are hormonal changes that increase your hunger. There's also research that shows that your, as your body weight decreases, your sense of smell increases. Like your body is just um, so amazing. It's just doing its job to prevent weight loss. And so, but it's not very helpful for us, right? So maintenance is just not a time to loosen up and to think that you're a moderate eater. Your body is fighting to keep your weight as it was before you um, started the program. So, so that's why we take that systematic approach to transitioning to maintenance by adding in food slowly and systematically while maintaining the systems and routines and habits that you develop during the weight loss phase. And once you've achieved that 10 pound weight range, it helps you to maintain that miracle. So. You have to just keep doing what you've been doing. So many of us, including me, have a part of us that is a minimizer. It, it tells us that those small excuses, exceptions don't really matter. Uh, but I want you to know that it really is the little things that matter in the weight loss phase and in maintenance. Uh, if we make mistakes, we can, we can totally just get right back on track and quickly course correct. But those excuses, exceptions, and our ego are ways that your brain blocks you from weight loss and weight maintenance. So another reason that it's so easy to regain weight, and this goes along with the weight set point theory, is because of your fat cells themselves. So we have lots of different kinds of cells in our body. Our body is, we have muscle cells and fat cells. We have uh, lots of different types. So, but during the weight loss phase, um, you know, we think that when we're losing fat, we we're losing fat cells, but we don't. So during weight loss phase, when you are decreasing your weight, you don't actually lose fat cells. They just shrink in size 
as their contents are used for energy, but the number of cells, the number of fat cells themselves, it stays the same. So when you lose 100 pounds, you still have the same number of fat cells that you did when you weighed 100 pounds more. They're just smaller. And that infrastructure is already in place. Uh, so when people consume more energy than they expend, when they overeat or gain weight, those excess calories are stored throughout the body as fat by either enlarging your current fat cells that you already have or by creating more fat cells. So you never lose fat cells, but you do gain fat cells. And um, we can lose body fat by shrinking those cells, but, they, but, the, but the cells themselves and, and, and also the infrastructure like the capillaries and connective tissue, it, it's still there. And your body is just super efficient at uh, at, at storing fat in those cells once they're already there. So the weight set point theory is that once you're at a higher weight, your body is designed to try to get back to it. Um, nature doesn't like to exist in a vacuum. Uh, so once the infrastructure is there, your body, it just works really efficiently to store fat in those existing cells. You are richly endowed with genes to defend the storage of calories as fat. And that, um, and so when we increase our body fat and when we gain weight, so if you get to maintenance and you start to binge or overeat, it's, that's why it's just so easy to regain the weight because the infrastructure is already in place and, uh, we increase the current size of our current fat cells and also our body creates more fat cells if there's not enough room in our current fat cells. So it makes sense as to why it's so easy to regain the weight after weight loss, but I don't want this to discourage you at all. Um, I really think that knowledge is power in this case because, so take heart, it really is possible to win the battle of weight loss and to maintain it forever. Um, and, and knowledge is power. So you are able to maintain your weight loss throughout your life and understanding this, it's going to help you as you create your maintenance strategy. It's going to help you to create that mind, that lifestyle mentality that is so important for maintenance. So I'm not going to get into the full maintenance strategy that I teach in the course in this video, but it's basically just continuing with your habits around your meal plan, you know, continuing um, to have those strong boundaries with processed foods and weighing and measuring your food and maintenance. Um, you, we do eat more food and maintenance because we're going from a caloric deficit up to your maintenance calories so that you're not losing weight. You're just maintaining your, your weight within a 10 pound range. Uh, but an effective maintenance strategy also includes exercising. Exercising really helps you to restore your metabolism after weight loss. After an extended caloric deficit, exercise is really important in helping you to restore your metabolism. We also want to reduce stress, get enough sleep and water, and stay connected and optimize your support system and maintenance by becoming a mentor. So in the Year of You program, in my coaching program, once you complete the Year of You and you achieve your goal body, you can continue in the coaching program for free as a mentor. And what this does is it helps you to stay accountable in maintenance. It helps you so that you can build that strong foundation in your new healthy lifestyle that will support you throughout your life. And while it can feel so discouraging that our body wants to work against us when it comes to maintenance, maintenance is really easy if you have the right strategy and the right mindset. So I just want you to know that if you're struggling with your sugar and flour free lifestyle, or with maintaining your weight loss after, after, uh, or sorry, maintaining your weight after weight loss, I just want you to know that there is hope. So uh, be sure to sign up for a free weight loss and maintenance strategy session with me. You can visit my website at erinhearthealthcoaching.com for a link to my schedule. I'd love to get to know you one-to-one -one 
and I offer this free service to just uh, do a, a Zoom call with you. It's about 30 minutes and we just talk about your goals and your strategy and give you some tips and help you for free. So, um, so uh, that is also available and I just want you to know that you can do this. I can't wait to talk to you soon and, and see you at the upcoming free challenge. So it's December 27th through the 30th. Save the date and be sure to sign up before Christmas uh, so that you can give your weight loss program some rocket fuel for the new year. Uh, um, the the um, sign up is not quite ready. It's going to be ready by the end of the week. So on December 16th, uh, that's when registration is opening for the free challenge. So I hope that you have a great day. And thank you so much for watching this video. I'm excited. The Monday Mindsets are now going to be in the free Healthy Real Food group. I'm gonna do the live videos here and then later share them in the VIP group. They are the topics of our discussions for the group coaching program. And we go more into depth and we apply them to your life and your program. But I do wanna make this information more readily available for anyone who needs help with their sugar and flour free lifestyle. So I hope that you'll join us each week, each Monday, 10 a.m. Uh, live in the VIP, or sorry, live in the Healthy Real Food Challenge Facebook group. So we will talk to you soon. Bye everybody.